What's up everybody? We are back out here where we were a couple weeks ago where we tested the high banker against the dry washer and we cleaned out a small section of a wash that uh, we actually found some pretty decent gold. So we came back and we were going to clean out at first a 20 foot section uh, to see if you know the gold is still good. And then we got the backpack to uh, clean up the false bedrock, the caliche layer. So we are going to, and it looks like Colin has already started. Yeah, just trying to get all these uh, bigger things out of the way. I know we're using the dry washer, it doesn't really matter, but. Well, it helps. Yeah, especially because we're gonna bucket everything over there since it seems pretty thin. So. Yeah, as you can see, that's, that's the spot we cleaned out last time. And bedrock's right there. So we're gonna clean out, we're yeah, about we here. Made a line here. I kind of paste it, so roughly call it. Ah, yeah. You in the damn bushes? Death bushes. <laughs> I don't get, I don't get along with nature very well. No. So anyway, we're gonna take from here to here is about roughly 20 feet. So we're gonna clear this whole section out, bucket it over to the dry washer, dump all that. Once we clear this out as far as we can get, I'm going to run the vacuum while Connor pans out the concentrates from the dry washer. After I'm done getting everything from the vacuum, then we'll pan that out and see what the dry washer caught and then what the vacuum caught as well. And what he means by we're gonna pan it out, I'm gonna pan it out. Yes, exactly. You need to work on your panning skills, bud. I'm not good at it. Is it because you can't see green? <laughs> so we're gonna start from back and work our way forward since it seems to be a little deeper over there. Get our buckets, start running them through. And then after we're satisfied with how much dirt we got out, Connor will pan that. I'll work on cleaning this up with the broom and the vacuum. So we're gonna get started on this, see how much dirt we can uh, move today. Patented bucket carrying walk. Good old Home Depot bucket. Er, Lows. Lows. Fire in the hole. So as he's running that, I'm gonna grab the broom and I'm gonna try to work this and clean it as I go so it's less work I have to do later. Uh, he's still got an empty four buckets worth that already filled up. And that's only in maybe a three by four area here. Uh, so that's a little bit of dirt and there's still quite a bit. But you can see it's not very deep here. So we're hoping this uh, area of caliche kind of acted as a sluice box or high banker, however you want to look at it. Uh, and caught some of those pieces of gold in the cracks on its way down. That's the purpose of this whole uh, experiment here in this section. All I'm really doing here now that I swept it up, just to see if like anything big sticks out at me. Uh, more or less, because we still don't have anything found with the metal detector yet. And I like to just pick one up because I found it. That's it. Sounds like we're having technical difficulties. A little bit. Got it. Oh. Had, to, had to raise the back side up a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to try to keep track of how many buckets that we go through. This is four. 
so far. I know how to count. Sure. No? Yeah. That way we can figure out how much, uh, we're obviously not gonna run a full yard, but maybe half a yard today? Colin broke a bucket. The clothes bucket sure last longer than the Home Depot ones, though. Yeah. And the Harbor Freight ones. Yeah, these are Two seasons? Yep. Home Depot one won't even last one. So anybody from Lowe's, if you're watching this, you want to sponsor us? Yeah. 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 Concentrates from the dry washer from that top layer that we just ran. Colin's over there digging out that that pit that we found in front of the bedrock. So that'll probably be the next thing we run. And then, uh, then we'll use the backpack and then we'll, we'll pan that out. We'll dump the dirt. And I already got a boo-boo. Trying to get the silt out from underneath the screen of the dry washer. There's a screw poking up and Slice my finger right there. It didn't feel very good. Let's see if I can do this without getting my, my ouchie wet. Probably not gonna happen. For two days after the last time we were out here, my back and my hips were so sore from doing this. Pinned a lot of dirt that day. At least this stuff is a little lighter. It's still heavy, but lighter than dealing with all those rocks and everything because we didn't classify it very well. A lot of heavies in there. Lots of heavies. If you can see that, there's a whole bunch of finds up there. So, that's good. I mean, obviously I would have liked there to have been more for as many buckets as we ran, but it was just the top layer. And that was another thing I wanted to find out was if the last time we were out here, we just got a bunch of flood gold since it's rained out here quite a bit in the last three or four months. So. Now that we're on bedrock and Colin's digging out that hole, I guarantee we'll find a lot more. Get in there nice and deep, boy. Yeah. Oh, a few flakes. Yeah. Decent amount, yeah. But I think we'll get most of it out of that hole and off the bedrock itself. Since that was just the top layer. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but we are getting down to that red clay again. And that's where we found a lot of our good gold. Colin's cleaning up the desert again. You know what it feels like? You ever see that meme where the guy's, the swimmer is in the pool and he's pouring water on himself? That's what it feels like. <laughs> Doing a real good job. Hey, you missed a little. This is a concentrate from the run we just did with the dry washer from out of that hole Colin dug. He's using the backpack to clean it out the rest of the way. So this is out of that hole Colin just dug. We ran through the dry washer. This is the concentrates from that run. He's over there right now 
with the backpack, cleaning up the caliche the best he can. And we'll pan that out. I'm thinking there's gonna be something good in here. All right, I think that's as far down as I can go. Let's see what we got. Okay, you guys see that? That's not bad, huh? But I know there's more gold in that black sand, so we're gonna take all that and all that, whatever else we get, and uh, run it through the gold wheel once we get back home. Let's go get some more. All right, so I just gave my first bucket to Connor out of the vacuum here. I'm gonna do a little more cleanup right here on this edge. And then uh, I'm gonna get in the hole there and start seeing uh, what's gonna be in, in there. Connor said he got a lot more gold out of this area here than he did the, the first set of uh, clean out. So hopefully there's way more in here than what I'm thinking, it'd be nice to find a nugget again. It's been a little bit since we found one of those, so. Get out of gas, bud. Is that what that is? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. That's better. day and still not over still have to pan this last bucket out and that's the remaining uh, concentrates from the vacuum from the deeper part of the hole there where the uh, thing was happening Connor's going through with the metal detector right now uh, just to see if he can find anything on the bedrock itself or Kalichi well speaking of that he's coming back so I'm gonna take that as a no The rock. <laughs> the rock. So, we're gonna pan this last one out, and after we do that, we'll put the rest of the concentrates in our concentrate pan, take that back to the house, run through the gold wheel, and after we're done with that, we'll show you what we got for the day. We're gonna concentrate real hard. We're gonna concentrate real hard on the concentrates. Concentrating. Black sand, gold thing. Anyway, we're uh, we're tired, so yeah, yeah. <sighs> All right, guys, we'll see you back at the house. All right, we're back at the house. <laughs> <laughs> we're both very tired. Oh. Just got done uh, cleaning up our concentrates with the gold wheel. Now we're gonna got it in here. And this is from the last two days of testing a new area. So let's uh, let's see what we got. Hold that thought. I don't have CenturyLink. Why are they calling me? So, right on. Like I said, this is from the last couple times we've gone out there. So, not as much as we hope, but I mean, it's there. If you want to go back and keep digging, maybe be out there for a couple days, turn that off. Maybe we'll get more. We did dig out that whole dip that we found in the caliche. We only dug about half of it. Well, Colin dug half of it. I just dumped, I just dumped the dirt in the drywall. I dug a lot of it. <laughs> a lot of it. But for what I, what that is, I mean, there's some chunky stuff in there. I mean, it's not yeah we there's for, but. the bigger pieces definitely look like they haven't traveled far so maybe we'll go out and try to find uh one of the side tributaries going into the wash see where it came from 
maybe we'll actually find the source and get more gold. We don't know, but that's what uh that's why we call it the channel Road to Gold, because we're looking for it. Exactly. Well guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned for our next one. If you're new to the channel, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Hit the hit the bell so you get notifications. Yeah, the bell. The bell, hit the bell. Yeah. Alright. Later guys. See ya.